Hi everyone, this is Rosie. In part one of this video, I showed you how to take your favorite PDF sewing pattern and upload it into Cricut Design Space. And in that video, when it came time for us to have to separate out the pattern pieces, we used the slicing method. Now I'd like to give you an alternative method to slicing, which would be the contour method. So right now we're at the place where all of the images, so all of the pattern pages have been uploaded and we're on the canvas. So we're going to start with this one right here. And on this pattern page, there were three images. So we're going to duplicate this two more times because I want to have three in total. So I hit actions, duplicate, duplicate. And now I have three of them. Now the reason why I wanted three will become clear to you in a minute. So let's go to the first one here and we're going to click on actions, contour. And when I do this, this white page sort of comes up that has the three images on it. And to eliminate the images, I just simply tap on them with my fingers. So I'm going to tap on it the bottom portion and then I'm going to tap on the square and then to get out of contour I just click anywhere outside the white box and now I have a separate piece right here so I'll put that up in the corner now I'm going to tap on the second one and again I'm going to hit actions contour and this time I want to save the bottom piece so I'm going to tap on the one on the top and then I'm going to tap on the square then I click outside the white box and now I have this piece right here. So now on the last one, I want to separate out the square. So again, I hit actions contour and I'm going to tap on the top piece and the bottom piece. Then I click outside the white box and I have the square left. The reason why I wanted to isolate the square is because I want to make sure that my pattern is sized properly. So I hit the edit button and it says that my square is one inch wide by one inch high. Now remember the squares are registration squares. That tells us that we've sized everything correctly. So now that I know that my square is one inch by one inch, I know that my pattern size is correct. So now on this one right here, we have two images. So I'm just going to duplicate it once. So I hit actions, duplicate. Now I have two. And now I can hit actions contour and this time I'll just get rid of the square, click outside the white box. And now I have this pattern piece. And now I hit actions contour for the next one. And this time I'm going to eliminate the pattern piece, click outside the white box and I have the square there. And if I hit edit, it says that it's one inch wide by one inch high. So again, we know that that piece is sized correctly. And then I have the last piece here and we have two images on this page. So we're going to hit actions, duplicate. And if I hit actions contour now, I can eliminate the square by tapping on it, tap off to the side outside the white box. And now I have this piece and now I want to get rid of the pattern piece so that I have the box remaining. I hit actions, contour, and I tap on the pattern piece and then I tap outside the white box and there's my square. And if I hit edit, I can see that it's one inch wide by one inches high. So the contour method is definitely an alternative to using the slice command when you need to separate out your pattern pieces from the pages. Please like and subscribe and join me on my Facebook group, which is Cricut Everyday Maker.